this morning, I can confirm that having conducted certain investigations, we responded to this area about 8.40 a.m. Exchange Hill in St. Michael, where we had information that there may be a body in a well. No. On arrival here, we did confirm that. And was here during this morning session with the assistance of the Barbados Fire Service and personnel from the Barbados Defense Force, we did re retrieve a body from a well. Now, this body is the body of an adult male, and it was retrieved from the well about 12.15 hour, 12, hours today. Okay? And I have here a member of the Barbados Fire Service who can speak to things like what processes they took to recover the body from the well. Before you get there, could you give us any information as to what any identifiers in terms of what that body might have been clad in? I don't want to give you at this time any investigative information. However, I would confirm that it is the body of a male and we are conducting certain investigations into missing persons. And there's a suspicion that this body may be one of these missing persons. Right, let's bring in the Barbados Fire Service. I am Station Officer Roger Bourne of the Barbados Fire Service. Tell us about the operation here this morning. With the operation, we were called in by the police of a suspected person in the well. That was confirmed earlier this morning by the police as well. We provided the various equipment, rigging equipment, to um, lower a member of the defense force into the well to retrieve the body. So Lieutenant Morris of the Barbados Defense Force, the person who um, was the person who were, did the retrieval from the body, from the well. Based on your discussions with your officers, how difficult a process was it? It is always a difficult process dealing with the well, not knowing if it's secure, um, what is coming from the well, if it's any gases and stuff like that. So we made sure that we use all the proper equipment, self breathing apparatus, ropes, harnesses, the required suits, so that the person going into the well can be safe going into the well and safe coming back of the well. So we did take all precautions and we take our time too because it's a, it's a risk that you're taking. So you make sure that everything is in place before you do this operation. Do you have a time frame in terms of hours of how long it took from basically setting up the equipment to get a note and bring the body up? You have an idea of how long it took? I would say it was an hour and a half in terms of preparing the equipment, securing the equipment, and then prepping the individual to go into the well because it is something that you have to be mentally prepared for to go into this well, especially dealing with a person missing for the number of times that it was allegedly missing. Uh, what sort of gaps are we looking at? We're looking at approximately 30 feet in depth. 